Hi, I'm John Tronfeld with the University of Maryland Extension. I'm going to show you an easy way to propagate your own sweet potato plants that you can then put in your garden so that you're going to be sure you'll have sweet potatoes this summer. This is a Japanese red sweet potato variety that I really like. And now that the plants are growing quite luxuriously, I'm going to just snap off each one and plant them in the garden about 12 inches apart. Unlike white potatoes, uh, sweet potatoes will make new plants all along the length of the root. They're not true tubers, they're tuberous roots. To get started growing our own sweet potato plants, we'll just fill the bottom of a tray, and you could use an old clementine box or any kind of container, rectangular container that's not too deep. We're just going to fill the bottom with about an inch of a nice growing media spread it out and then I've taken one of these Japanese red sweet potatoes and I cut it lengthwise and we're just gonna bed them down like this and then cover with some more growing media you could also use sand you could cover these with about two inches of sand and we'll keep these uh, inside, we want to keep it at about 70 to 75 degrees. And in about three weeks' time, you'll see new sprouts coming out along the length of those roots. And if the plants get too tall, you can always cut them and actually pot up the tip that you've cut off, just leaving two leaves cut below the second leaf and put that in a pot and you'll have a new plant. Here's a single sweet potato shoot that grew off of one of our roots and we can actually get nine different plants from this shoot. And what we need to do is locate each node and that's the swollen place where the main shoot meets a new leaf. And we take a razor blade and cut just a little bit below that node and this area, this is the peg that'll go down into the soilless growing media. And then we cut here and here. So we end up with a little Y, and you can see the new, plant, the new leaf about to grow out, and we'll just stick that right into our pot. Here's a pot with two cuttings that we took about two weeks ago and I'm just going to take them out of the container so you can see the really nice root system that's already begun to develop. And these plants are ready to go out in the garden but if conditions aren't right they can be held in the pot 